Hello, and welcome to week eight of this course. If you've taken a look at the schedule of this course and taken a look a little bit in the future, you can see that the end of the course is actually soon upon us. Um, you're going to be given a few extra weeks where there's not specific weekly driven content where you're just working on your portfolio. So we're nearing the end, but we still have a few obstacles to get over. This week, we turn our attention again to some of the specific skill sets that you need to succeed as a professional. You may or may not know that at USFSM we have something called the core curriculum. That's why you're enrolled in this course. In order to be a student at USFSM, you have to take SLS 1107 or come in as a transfer student, and then take SLS 2122 before moving into your degree program. And in the first few years, some students have taken it late, and you may be one of those students, and that's okay as well. But this course is designed to give you really the early skill sets that you'll build on at the upper division. In that upper division, you're supposed to come into contact with six themes. And over the next few weeks, we are going to break those apart. Now, you've already looked at communication. That's a critical theme. That's a pillar of intellectual engagement. We say our students should be proficient in their oral and written communication upon leaving USFSM. But there are also five other pillars of intellectual engagement, and these following weeks will focus on those. So all six pillars are communication, critical thinking, diversity, community engagement, and then the two that we'll be focusing on this week, leadership and ethics. We want our students to, again, not just get jobs, but go out and be leaders in their field. To do that, we believe that they need to have these specific skill sets. So we'll be exploring leadership and ethics this week. This week, you'll complete a photo voice assignment that's focused on something we don't really talk about in higher education, that's morals. That's what you feel is right or wrong. And I've asked you to think professionally about something you just can't stand for. What is that? Don't be too political here. Don't be too personal here. But if those political and personal things relate to your professional life, they're welcome. You may say anything you want in this course. I value your opinion. I just ask that you be thinking about others that you're interacting with throughout the semester as well. You also complete step one of an assignment that you'll put the finishing touches on later this semester, and that's the leadership interview report. Um, just as a reminder, you will be selecting a leader in your field, somebody who really has power, somebody who you could maybe see yourself being in the future, and you'll be interviewing them in a few weeks. For step one, which is due this week, you're basically developing an interview guide, a protocol that you're going to ask them. You're going to be reaching out to that person and asking to schedule a time to meet with them. There are more specifics listed in the Canvas shell that I encourage you to check out. They'll be very helpful, I think. Um, and I encourage you that if you have time in your schedule, go ahead and interview that person. Go ahead and get that out of the way. That's part two. You can scroll ahead a few weeks and see exactly what's due, the rubric for that assignment, but make sure that you got step one done by the end of this week. A little bit of a down week, but there's still some stuff to do. Make sure you're getting those substantive replies and your photo voice assignments. And make sure that you're keeping me informed. What can I help you with? Any positive thoughts I can send your way? Any assistance? Remember, I am here for you. This is an online course, but I'm not the Wizard of Oz. I'm not absent behind a curtain. I want to help you, so please let me know how I can. You're doing great work. Keep your head above water. I know there's a lot to do in this course, but you've got this. Till next time. Bye-bye.